Hello there guys and welcome back to another one of our videos. My name is Dave and today we're going to be running the MineLab Equinox 800 in the 4v4 program with the 15 inch coil. I've not been doing any metal detecting videos for about two weeks there. I've had a massive project at home, a big summer house that's finally finished and out the way. So I'm looking forward to producing a lot more videos now. I've not got much to do at home. So yeah, look out for a video at the weekend. It's going to be with Detector Jim and Paul over in Chester. Pretty excited to get out there. Brand new permission loads of acres so yeah i'm hopeful but as you know it's a bit of pick and mix isn't it you'll either get something or you won't anyway without further ado i'll see you on the first hole you're watching the detectives <laughs> Right guys, we are at our first target right now, and as you can see, that definitely sounds pretty decent. It's reading 16. Very solid. And it's about there, let's have a look. And she's out the hole. Whatever it is, is out. Let's have a look. Ah, there we go. It's a coin. And it is. It's one of the old 50p's. There she is. We're on with our next target now. This is actually very shallow. It's coming in at 17. Sounds pretty good. It's about that. Let's have a look. Right, the hole's open. It's still in the hole. It's another coin, I think. I don't know. That is, it looks to be possibly the back end of of a watch some sort of cap yeah anyway moving on right we've got another target here seems pretty shallow all right guys i've just dug this out popped out right on the top there it's one of the old 20 p's and look need to invest in some new gloves don't i <laughs> anyway yeah there she is right guys we are on with a another target now Seems a bit deeper, it's coming at 22. That's about that, let's have a look. Right guys, whatever it is, is in the clod. And we're on with a coin. All right, she is 19, so 1921, it's gonna be a George, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. George Penny, I think that is, yeah, 1921. Good find. Straighten again with another target. Coming into the high coin, large coin range there. We're in about 28, 29. Again, fairly shallow. Most of these targets are though, because we are on a car boot field. Let's have a little look. The shallow ones are just, uh, just dig straight out live for you. Oh, it was shallow, right on the top, look at that, that's uh, an old 2p, lovely. Well, we just had a bit of a, a bit of a dead patch then, and we just come up to, uh, up to this little raised ground here, and we've got another target, is reading between 14 and 16, it's a bit funny, we're going to dig it anyway, it's about there. And whatever it is, is still in the hole. It's small, whatever it is. Have I got it? There it is. Now he's got it. Where's it gone? Sorry about this. Well, that took some time finding. It's a button. There's some lovely gold gilt on that as well. It's hard to catch in the light though. Guys, I'm gonna clean this up. Ain't nothing significant, but I do like a good button. So yeah, I'll clean this up and you'll see a picture of this now. All right guys, right next to this target, we've just dug a button out of. We've got another target here now. It's all over the place. 15 to 19. 
that there, let's have a look. And whatever it is, is in the clod. Looks like we've got a visitor. Come on, come on. Come here, you. Come here. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is, is in the clod. Having a good old nose, these dogs. Oh, look at that. It appears to be one of the old pistol lead ball shots. Like a musket smaller though. That's the first, first, I think it's the first I've had off here on the parish hall. Or the second, but yeah, still, lovely find. Right, the dark's getting set in now. We'll come up with another target there. It's reading about 16, there seems to be a bit of junk next to that. We're gonna dig it. It's about there. I've got it out, it is in the clod and I can see it sticking out here. That is, I'm presuming part, back end of a spoon or something, possibly a fork. But yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely part of some cutlery there. There we go. Right guys, we've got another target. It sounds a lot better. It's coming up about 20 on the readings there. And she's about there. Let's have a look. Right guys, whatever it is, is in the clod. Let's have a look. Oh. Right, we've got something. Right guys, I've just shut that off. <laughs> it was uh, in the side wall of this hole. But yeah, you can see there, it's one of the uh, ooh, old pennies. And it's around 1900s. So it's gonna be a George, isn't it? You can see something on there. But yeah, nice find, lovely. All right guys, we've got another target right now. It's coming in about 24, so that's pretty good. Possibly on its side the other way when I went over it. And it's about there, this is fairly shallow again. So we will get a live dig. Is it in there? Let's have a look. And it is, it's out. gonna be a coin isn't it oh there we go just popped out there modern coinage we got a lovely two pound coin there she is on with our next target now it's coming in at swift 27 and it's about there pretty close again to the other hole let's have a look all right guys I do apologize for the poor light in here whatever it is is in the side of this plug. I can see it there, looks like an old 2P or something. Oh no. No, that's got George on there. It's gonna be a half penny, isn't it? Yeah, and I can just about read that date there. It's 1943 or 44. But there, we're not gonna complain about that. It's another old coin, another good find. There he is. Right, we're gonna have to call this quit soon guys. We've been here about an hour and a half now. We've just come up with another good target. This is reading 23, possibly a pound coin or something like that. The Equinox. And she's about there, let's have a look. Whatever it is guys, is still in the hole. I can see it right there. Here we go. What is it? It's not a pound coin. It's another one penny. And the date is 1918 on that one. Right guys, that is gonna be a lot from me today. Thanks very much for watching as always. If you haven't already, please do consider liking and subscribing here. We're gonna be out on Sunday in Cheshire with Detector Jim and Paul, so stay tuned for that video. More importantly, stay safe and we will see you next time. Thanks.